Shopping for an air fryer The small kitchen appliances that claim to recreate the crispy, crunchy taste of fried foods, without the oil and fats used in traditional deep fat frying, can be a confusing endeavor. When you consider all the options out there, not to mention the sheer number of opinions on whether or not they're actually as convenient as they say they are, so to see which air fryers perform the best, and which might be best for certain users, we put nine models to the test, running them through a comprehensive evaluation process. We selected three top choices that did a great job with our test recipes and impressed us with their features and construction, so regardless of your cooking, before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Instant Vortex Plus. This fryer may not have cracked our list of top picks but it came pretty close. Its extra-large 6-quart capacity can fit an impressive amount of food, and the large control panel and LED screen were simple to figure out. Unlike some other basket-style fryers that had heavy or clunky drawer baskets, this one was lightweight and comfortable to slide in and out. The fries and shrimp came out crispy and evenly cooked, and the Brussels sprouts were crunchy and crisp. This unit features six cooking modes air fry, broil, roast, dehydrate, bake and reheat, making it a good option for those who want a bit more versatility, but aren't ready for a countertop oven model. We found it to be easy to clean, and the nonstick tray in the basket can either be hand-washed or popped in the dishwasher. It also gives you more space and thus room to cook for more people at a price comparable to other models. Its large size did take more time to- Number 2. KitchenAid Digital. This KitchenAid oven-style fryer is convenient and comfortable to use, and the adjustment knob made it easy to scroll through functions and cooking settings. The backlit LCD provides a clear look at the temperature and time, and is large enough to easily read. The nine cooking modes offer a nice balance of options. The food itself was cooked evenly, although the wire mesh tray suffered from the same issues as other oven-style fryers. Despite the fact that its open design made it easier to cook food without flipping, it also allowed grease and oil to fall through and onto the tray below. While this wasn't a huge deal, it was just an extra pan to have to clean. The wire tray was also a nightmare to clean and a sponge shredder. Number 3. Breville Smart Oven Air Fryer Pro. Although it's likely a great choice for someone looking for a multipurpose countertop oven, and it looks gorgeous. This Breville model was just a bit too inconvenient to be used as a primary air fryer. The control knob was responsive and worked well with the large and bright LED display and made it easy to scroll through and select the cooking mode you want. The best feature of this model was the fact that the fryer tray automatically pulled out when you opened the door, which allowed you to take a look or use tongs to adjust the food without having to grab an oven mitt to pull it out yourself. This model also boasted an impressive 13 cooking functions, making it a great choice if you're looking for a comprehensive cooking machine. It also included a pizza pan, which none of the other oven models did. While the french fries and brussels sprouts turned out well, the shrimp did not. They ended up sticking to the mesh tray, and when shook, they lost a fair amount of batter mangling the shrimp. This wire tray was also incredibly difficult to clean, and like the others, it shredded our sponge when cleaning. For an ex- Number 4. Philips Premium. The sleek, commercial-style look of this Philips fryer gave a great impression right out of the box, but issues with the basket prevented us from including it as a top pick. Unlike other basket-style fryers that simply used a non-stick insert to keep the food off the bottom of the tray, the Philips Premium uses both the mesh tray and a fat reducer insert. This fat reducer is supposed to reduce and capture excess fat, which we suppose it did, but no more so than any other basket that would capture the dripped oil or grease from frozen foods being cooked. This extra insert made the Philips Premium one of the least convenient fryers to clean, especially since the additional mesh insert was more difficult to clean than the simple nonstick tray found in every other mode. That being said, the controls were easy to handle, and we were able to fire up the fryer and get cooking right away. There was no preheating needed, and the fries, shrimp and brussels were all cooked evenly and without any real issues. The straightforward controls and cooking performance aside, we just couldn't get past the basket design issues 
especially at such a high price point. Number 5, Cusinart Toa 60. If you prefer the versatility and extra space that comes from having an oven style air fryer, the Cusinart Toa 60 is a great option. We love the square shape and compact size of this oven just 15.5 inches by 16 inches by 14 inches. The large knobs were straightforward and easy to use, and although this is subjective, we appreciated the lack of LCD screen. There was something about the tactile feel of using separate knobs to select the cooking mode, temperature and timer that made us feel in total control over the cooking process. One of the primary reasons we chose this model over other oven-style fryers is that its fryer basket is just a little bit deeper than the other ones we tested. It's not by much, but just enough to make it noticeably easier to shake up fries or other loose items you may be air frying. We found shallower baskets are more likely to either send a few fries flying off, or just not allow you to shake them up effectively. The interior light was a nice perk as well, and made it easy to keep an eye on the food inside, without opening it up and losing heat. Performance-wise, the Cusinart Toa 60 cooked food to near perfection, and even resulted in our favorite fries of the bunch. The Cusinart Toa 60 also comes with an oven rack, baking pan and air fryer rack basket, so you'll be prepared for a good range of cooking projects. Although its mesh basket created the same cleaning issues as other oven-style units, thin wire and lack of nonstick surface shredded our Number 6. Ninja AF101 Air Fryer. Ninja has a great reputation for providing well-made, durable products including its blenders, and this air fryer is no different. Right out of the box, we appreciated its sturdy solid feel, and the sleek black finish makes it look like it's right out of a professional kitchen. It's not especially heavy, 10.58 pounds, but the solid construction and rubber feet give it a sturdy feel that was even more noticeable after several days of handling less rugged models. Unlike some of the lower quality machines we tested, the tray of the Ninja wasn't flimsy or loose, and settled into the fryer body with a satisfying clunk. So we were never concerned that the entire unit would slide around or tip over if we pushed the basket in too hard. We found the control panel of the Ninja AF101 air fryer extremely straightforward to use. It has four functions to choose from all with their own button, so no need to scroll through options alongside timer and temperature arrows. This minimal layout provided a great balance of convenience and functionality, and the buttons were responsive and had a good tactile feel to them as well. The Ninja AF101 air fryer performed nearly perfectly in our food tests and produced evenly cooked, crispy french fries and shrimp. The Brussels sprouts also came out with a nice crispy exterior and moist crunchy interior. As with the other basket style fryers, the nonstick basket and tray insert were simple to clean, either run them through the dishwasher or just wash them in the sink with a sponge and warm, soapy water. The smooth layout